Welcome to this episode of Epic Geek Out, the only show on the internet where Jack Bauer sleeps through his alarm clock. I'm your host, Chad. And I'm your host, Rob. Today we will be reviewing the new show on Fox uh, called Touch. Starring Kiefer Sutherland. That's the 24 it's the reference. tie-in. All right. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. So we appreciate you guys watching. We're getting a little bit of a fan base set up here, which we love. So subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Twitter and Facebook, so you get all the latest updates on our shows and what we're coming out with. And also send your feedback to fans at epicgeekout.com. Again, we appreciate any feedback. Uh, if you if there's something that we're missing and you'd like us to review, whether it's a new cool iPhone game, if it's you know just something that we may have missed, you know, mm -hmm. please please send that in. Yeah, because we want to check it out. And if we suck, we've reconsidered, and you can send non-happy mail in if you want. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'm still on the fence. We want some. We want some feedback. Honest feedback. So thanks again for watching. Let's get into the episode of the television show, Touch. <laughs> so today we're going to be talking about the new television show on Fox called Touch, which stars Kiefer Sutherland, Danny Glover, David Mazus is a little kid, the little kid, and I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, so basically, this show follows a father and son the son is a mute who has not spoken in his life. He's about 10 or so. I don't know. How Unless he when he needs to narrate. and Yeah, well, he narrates in the beginning. But he's definitely a mute and has never spoken to his father. And through a series of events, you find out that the kid can actually use numbers to notice certain patterns throughout the universe and see the entire universe, I suppose, which is why he doesn't speak. That's what they say. And he can see connections between people and events. And he learns to communicate through his father I guess, um, by just writing down numbers. And his father follows these numbers to help set a chain reaction of events off that help people meet each other. I guess that's the best way to describe it. Um, it's quite complicated, though. Um, so we saw the pilot of about a month and a half ago, mm -hmm. in er, late January, and which was considered a preview episode. And then they showed that two weeks ago. And then we saw the second episode. So we're... We've seen the first two episodes. There's also another episode on uh, the evening that you're watching this on Thursday nights at 9 p.m. on Fox. So, Rob, were you touched by touch? How do you I feel about it? I can't say I was touched by touch at all. I kind of hate Not the show. Not in a good way, at least. No, touch <laughs> touched me in a bad, bad way. Um, it, it sucks, in my opinion. And I really want to enjoy the show. I love the concept. I kind of enjoyed... Um, the setup in the first in the pilot episode, mm -hmm. um, it was a very self-contained episode. It it built it up pretty well, and you know it it showed on a very grand scale of you know these people around the world having one little thing, kind of like the butterfly effect influence it, which is you know really I, I found kind of inter Butterf butterfly effect's kind of like the future, isn't it? I don't know. Well, no, it's the butterfly. It's not the movie. Oh, yeah. Kutcher, but like the, <laughs> the idea that, that you know one little thing can right, change right, and right, affect right, the right, world. Right, yeah, yeah. And so the kid can see that, and he can see the past, he can see the present, he can see the future with just numbers. And mm -hmm. you know, it's explained by um, Glover's character, and you know, it's kind of just eh, I don't know. I like I said, I kind of hate this show. I really wanted to like it, and that might I might have had high expectations for it. Mm -hmm. But I was watching the um, second episode today with my dad. And we were just like, is it over yet? <laughs> and we were watching it on depend, and the commercials seemed longer than uh, the show. Yeah, yeah. And it just kind of painful. Um, one, of, one of the problems, I think, with the show, uh, you know, we talked about this before, is that there's three reoccurring, well, four, I guess, with Donald Glover's character, who's not in it too much. Danny. Danny yeah. Glover. Yeah, yeah, Donald yeah. Glover community. Good show. <laughs> um, there is Kiefer Sutherland, there's mm -hmm. the social worker, and there's the kid. I detest the social worker character. I think she's awful. I think it's so just, they, they need to have some conflict of taking the dad away from the son, or the son away from the dad, rather. And it's just, it's it's so forced. Uh, the se second episode was just like the first, and you know, all these people, you know, it's affected at the end, and you see it happen, you know, you don't know how it's gonna happen, even though it's pretty, you know, apparent right. throughout it. Yeah, you can see it coming. And I just, it, it just felt so forced, like, these writers sat in a room and they were just like, well, let's get this Russian guy and he's going to have this son, and, like, they had the whole theme of it was, like, very a father-son type of ep episode, right. and I hate to compare, yeah. but I have to compare, um, Awake recently had, like, a father-son kind of episode where it was, like, the central core of it, and did, I had my problems with that too, but did a much better job of it than this one, mm -hmm. and it just... 
I mean, the characters they introduced today, like, why do we care about, you know... Any, what, like, I don't want to give a spoiler, but, like, what the old guy was trying to do. Yeah, anybody. Like, why do we care that they're re that these two people get reunited? You know, oh, it's sweet, but we don't why? Know yeah. We don't know. Like, why, what vested interest do we have? And it's hard for Kiefer, who has to do this role by himself, because the kid doesn't talk, you know? He just kind of, this is him. Popcorn. <laughs> Moving around. <laughs> popcorn. Oh, I escaped from somewhere. <laughs> popcorn. Like, it, uh, he moves popcorn in numbers, and, you know, instead of writing numbers, like, which he can do, too. It just, it feels so forced. They're trying, and I think they think they're greater than they are with what they're trying to do. It's no crash. It's no, mm. so, I mean, I know you think differently. Uh, what yeah, do you think? I mean, I don't, I don't hate it. I don't feel that way about it. I am disappointed. I have some problems with some parts of it, for sure. Uh, taking the pilot episode aside, because I think that was really awesome. I think that was, a self, but it was self-contained. It was like made to be a pilot episode. Mm -hmm. And then, so you're okay with just it being its own story, an introduction to the world, fun, you know. But then this episode should have introduced something a little bit more meaty, I guess, is the best way to describe it. And it just kind of was more of the same, but sort of arbitrary, like you were saying. I just think that there's not a lot to grasp onto there. First of all, there's a lot of things that happen that just are completely ridiculous and would never happen in real life. And, like, the sun... A lot. First of all, we, there's been two episodes, and both episodes, uh, the son's taken away from the father and then breaks out of the institution that he's been placed in. And they're trying to tell the father that he's bad. I mean... Yeah. yeah. I, that <laughs> drives me nuts. I mean, like, he obviously... The social and he did all this, these fantastic things the first episode. Yeah. And the woman's like, yeah, but we still got to take him away. Well, no. Like, <laughs> I mean... Yeah. Uh, and the dad happens to have been, like, a journalist in the past, so, you know, that's how they're explaining how right. he can solve these things. Right. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I really think that it needs, and I don't say this about every show, because I don't like to say that that TV, TV needs to lean on that overarching story, even though I know I did give them my thanks a couple yeah. episodes ago with serialized television, but it needs something more, uh, and I know we say it's a lot like the movie Knowing and Mercury Rising mixed together, and I don't like that movie Knowing at all, but <laughs> it needs something more, like, dire. Like, there needs to be some stakes. Like, there's, they're just randomly connecting some people that it's like a feel-good, oh, they're awesome people, and but we don't know them. We don't know any of their there's backstory. There's a cosmic imbalance, they said, this right. episode. And, you know, the son feels that, so we need to get this father and daughter... It, yeah, oh, crap. but what I'm saying is there needs like, to be some on. kind of like big event. Like, Kiefer yeah. needs to be 24 in the shit out of the show, trying <laughs> to stop some like big bomb plot or something. And they do have some references to 9/11 because they are in New York City, mm -hmm. and his wife was involved. That's why his wife's no longer around. Mm -hmm. um, so if they maybe he was stopping the next sort of terrorist attack on New York, I know that that would be really tying into 24, and that might be seen. Chad as stupid, wants but another 24. I do. Is, that's I what do. he wants out of this show. But and wouldn't you think that would be awesome if they it had needs something it. like that? It needs it. It needs bad guys to be returning. Yeah. First off, there really weren't. There aren't there any aren't bad guys. Bad guys. Really. They're just connecting. It, you know, the guy was well, kind of a jerk. Next, but next like, episode, they hinted the preview at there's someone else knows that the kid has these abilities. Yeah. Maybe, but I don't know. It could just be a well, one and episode I, thing. And I hope Who they knows? bring back. The pawn shop owner or something. You know, I'm going to give this one more episode. A, I'm just going to give it one more shot. But I can literally say that I sat there and I watched it and I hated it. <laughs> I just, I wanted to turn it off. If we weren't doing this, yeah, I would have turned it off. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not over the moon about it. It's not, I, I'm trying to give it a chance because I really want to like it so bad. Because the concept is awesome, like you said. I love Crash. I love that whole concept. I love Kiefer. I just... It needs more. It needs more, it and needs I'm hoping more. it gets It there. needs better characters, um, you know, more more things you can, like, I like Kiefer's role, you know, mm -hmm. I, you can, you have empathy for the fact that, you know, he can't talk to his son, he can't actually even touch his own son, like, hug him. Right, right, You right. know, um, but then the, the other recurring character, the social worker. Yeah, she's just, not he, good, I don't think. Everything so. about the way the character's written, I don't like how the actress portrays her, mm -hmm. the whole idea that, like, the state's going to come in and take him away, and all the... I just... There's just so many faults of the show, and, you know, I can take a couple. It's TV. It's hard to, mm -hmm. you know, put out an episode, right. you know, all the time, and we'll things see. like that. We'll but see. I don't know, like, how the ratings are. I didn't look any of that up, so I'm not quite sure. The premiere did really well, didn't did it? it? I, I'm not sure. I'm yeah. To be honest, I, I have no idea. Um, but, I mean, I, I just hope it gets... It hits its stride a little bit. I mean, it's kind of a weird concept of a show, so hopefully it kind of is growing a little bit 
I don't know. I'm just saying that because I really hope it, I hope it does. <laughs> but I think check it out just to see if you're into it. Watch the pilot at the very least because I think that was a good episode. Yeah. Uh, but, you know. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, we'll maybe we'll revisit it and I'll let you know if it's any good because I'm, I'm sure you're probably going to stop watching. Soon. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> All right. So that is Touch. And now it's time to give our geek thanks of the day. So, Chad, what are you thankful for? All right, so I just uh, started watching a show on Netflix that I was told for a while. Some may have heard of it. Some <laughs> may have heard of it, and it, I'm kind of ashamed as a geek that I haven't seen it to this point. And now I'm going to have to start watching, yeah, so thanks. Yeah, um, it's a show that's been around for, oh, it, well, it's off the air at this point, um, but a bunch of people have told me to watch it. I just never is never even gave it a chance. On full series is on there. Battlestar Galactica, which started, there's actually, the first two episodes are an hour and a half um, uh, miniseries that they had, and then it goes into the actual show. I watched I watched the miniseries and the first two episodes, and I'm pretty hooked on it. I think it's awesome. It's really, really sci-fi, so mm -hmm. space battles, but it's a cool concept, and obviously it's pulling some from source material from the 70s that, it was a show back then, that was pretty good, obviously, that they brought it back. Um, has a lot of critical acclaim. I just never really had any desire to watch it, and just not really a lot on uh, TV right now, besides Touch and Wake. <laughs> so <laughs> so I thought I'd check it out the other night, and I just watched both the, those two episodes and then the two others. So I, I rather enjoyed it. It's quite good, so you should check it out. And yeah, good. What, good, do, you, what good. are you thankful for? Okay, again, I'm seeing that a lot of my thanks uh, are little shout outs to my childhood. Um, I would like to thank something, uh, <laughs> something in front of me. Yeah. I would like to thank what I call the WWF, what's now called the WWE. Yes. Um, this uh, this will be airing on Thursday. Uh, the next Sunday is April first, which yeah, has baby. the big event of the year, WrestleMania. I can't say I follow wrestling. The Rock is coming back all That's year awesome. long, but it's something that uh, we went to a <laughs> with some other friends. We went to a Monday Night Raw this year. <laughs> Uh, it was Chad's first experience. It's quite an experience. I, I got to sit front row before, and I had the fight spill out right in front of me. That's awesome. Which I mean, that's straight bucket list if I didn't do it when I was a kid. So thanks, Dad. You know, I really do appreciate having a great childhood. Um, but it's it's just it's so stupid. It's so awesome though. The people like, that go to those things. Oh, the people! Are. It's horrific. I mean, wow. and if you're no one offense, of them, well, but wow. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like going to Walmart, really. Uh -huh. But um, well, I mean, we went, so we can't really be talking. <laughs> well, but. we can judge. We don't go all the time, but. <laughs> I love it. It's, um, you know, there's some great matches uh, with, you know, Shawn Michaels guest refereeing a steel cage match with The Undertaker. Is this for WrestleMania? Under, yeah, Undertaker. Uh, I don't even know any of the H. matches. So um, and, sorry. you know, it's something that now our group of friends do every year where uh, one of our friends pays for it. So thanks, Dean. Good job. <laughs> um, and we watch it on, like, the 60 inch TV he has. And it's just great. It's like, it's just a blast from the past. I mean, I, we it's used fun. to get every pay per view growing up. And so, you know, it's incredibly geeky because it's just it's so silly. You just gotta commit to it and go for it. I mean you gotta be like wow. This is and last going Wrestlemania going. was very disappointing with Snooki wrestling I and that was, Snooki wrestling. that was the funny. second best match of the night so I'm that hoping for yeah. much bigger things this year. Yeah two um, years ago. When so we, don't judge me too much I don't watch it all the time but <laughs> two um, years ago when we first started the Wrestlemania it was, it was pretty awesome. It was great. Yeah, so. Our friend made um, Tingle great job she made a wrestling ring cake which yeah. I thought was fantastic um, so it's just it's kind of it's fantastic just, that a girl, one of our girl, that is friends. Yeah, like she's wrestling. great. Um, and you know, it's just it's just fun. It's stupid, mindless fun. Yeah, so I would like to give thanks to the WWF. Cool. So, um, so we will be watching WrestleMania this weekend, but we hope you guys are doing something ultra geeky as well. Until next time, thanks for watching this episode of Epic Geek Out.